Today, I would like to have a look at one specific design feature that some F1 teams use and others don't, the center flap support. When DS is used, an hydraulic pressure is pulling the flap open, but it's a one-way system and the flap cannot be actively closed. It simply closes because of the forces at the flap that push it back into its closed position. That way, teams only need one hydraulic line running into the rear wing, which keeps components slim and light. But it's a bit more challenging to design the system because teams have to make sure that their rear wing flaps always create enough downforce in their open position to return to their closed position. Now, in order to shadow the gurney flaps in a separation bubble to reduce drag when DS is open, teams tend to design profiles with sharper leading edges and rotate them a bit more to still cover larger gurney flaps. And this is especially the case for high downforce wings. If the car then travels at high speeds at the end of the straight, the rake angle of the car changes due to the rearward aero balance. And so the angle of attack for the rear wing changes too. The result is that an open flap can now, in this situation, also create lift. Because it's only fixed at the sides, it would tend to bend and lift its position in the center. Because of the different kinematics, this would cause the flap not to close. So there are two solutions to this problem. One is to make the flap stiffer, but that means more weight in a pretty high position. Or two is to add another support in the center. This design avoids bending the flap and it stays in its design position. So if teams need this additional support, entirely depends on the kinematics each team is using and on their self-set safety factors. A not closing DRS can cause bad accidents, so it's important to get this right. I hope you liked this short explanation today and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.